Welcome to today's infrared sauna question. Why so and so doctors choose clear light? Why do your reviews seem so different than others I read? I mean, I'm in the sauna detox group and everyone posts with pictures of their EMF meter, but your videos take it to a whole new level. Do I really <laughs> do I really need to worry about all these EMFs? I thought there was only one, now you say there are three. Please help. <laughs> okay. Um, where do I start here? Uh, it's not like I'm creating the other two EMFs. I mean, these are just kind of like, I don't know what you would call it, the laws of the universe. I mean, you have electricity and you have voltage on a line. And so there's going to be different types of EMF associated with that. There's going to be magnetic fields based on the current. There's going to be electric fields um, and a few other things based on the... I mean, you could separate it out into the voltage, if you'd like, or the amperage. I mean, when some when something draws current, like, for example, how would we do this? If you were to plug an extension cord into a wall, and the circuit breaker is on, there's nothing plugged into it, and you can take an EMF meter and measure electric and magnetic fields from that, you're going to get two levels, for one for each. Now, if you plug a fan into that, and it starts drawing current, or you increase the amperage or the draw on the circuit and you redo those measurements, they're going to increase. Usually both of them, always one of them. So uh, it's not like, you know, it's not like I'm creating a, an additional type of EMF. Um, I understand where you're coming from. Most sauna companies portray that EMF is one thing, but EMF stands for electromagnetic field. And so the first part, electro, stands for electric fields. The second part stands for magnetic magnetic fields. Um, and then there's also RF radiation and body voltage that you should be looking at. And so body voltage is just a fail safe way to check and make sure that there's no rogue electric fields or things going on in the sauna. Generally, sauna companies don't acknowledge electric fields um, and they don't like to acknowledge RF radiation either. So what you'll see is pictures of people with an EMF meter on a single setting. And that's the key factor. If you see somebody with a tri-field meter or any type of EMF meter and they show you, you know, a video of them testing the sauna and it only has one selection on there, like if they're just testing magnetic fields and that's the end of the video, they only show you levels for magnetic fields, you know, it's bullshit because you could test for RF radiation, you could test for electric fields and you could test for magnetic fields. So why are they just showing you one of the three? It's not like I'm creating this. This stuff is present because it plugs into a wall. Just the sauna companies don't want to acknowledge it, so they don't talk about it. They don't show it to you. They just say it's low EMF, as if EMF is a singular term. It's not. It's a plural term. I've been saying that for like six months now, maybe a year, a long time. Um, so my reviews, so why are my reviews so different? Um, my reviews are different because I test for all three on live video, never, ever, ever taking a sauna apart to send a piece of it to a lab to have some third-party EMF report generated to then present to you in my marketing material. Never ever will I do that because here's why. When you alter the native environment of the sauna, you're altering the native environment that your body would be subjected to. So why do I give a shit about some levels on an EMF report of some heater that people have hanging from a forklift? Like this just pisses me off every single time because it's ridiculous. So if there's not shielding on the cabling in the walls of the sauna, they just remove that. So you're only seeing a fraction of what would really be there if they tested the sauna with you in it, or you know what I'm saying? Um, and so, you know, why do so-and-so doctors choose clear light? I don't know. Um, it is a good sauna, but all the saunas on the certified sauna list are good saunas. There's even saunas that test better than clear light. I'm not a dig at clear light. It's just, you know, there's plenty of options out there that have all three types of, of EMF mitigated that would be a, a suitable choice for you. Um, do I really need to worry about all these EMFs? I mean, yeah, in my opinion, if you're in the market for a new sauna, why wouldn't you want to buy a sauna that tests low for all three? Why would you want to, you know, just buy something? That's like me going to the Chevy dealership and getting last year's, you know, a two-year-old leftover Corvette. If we know that there's something better, why wouldn't you want to use it? Now, if you have a two-year-old sauna and it doesn't test as good as the certified saunas, should you go out and sell it? and you know, buy one of the new models. I mean, that's like, that's what people keep asking me. It's like, well, it's 2019 and now there's new saunas out there that are ranked better and blah, blah, blah. 
It's like, yeah, well, new cars come out. Are you the type of person that goes and trades your car in every single time there's a model that comes out that has new and improved upgrades? If you are, then maybe it's worth it to you. In my opinion, I would just be happy with what you have and use it because there's plenty of other things that you could be doing. Um, let's see. It's on a detox group. Yeah, I have some problems with that group. Um, most people don't know, but I was banned from that group because I challenged the group owner, the guy that makes videos from his computer instead of stepping inside of saunas and doing something with them. He just pulls up the company website and then talks about how bad they are and then tells you there's only one option on the planet in an effort to steer you into his sales funnel. Pretty shady, don't like it, whatever, who cares. Um, but yeah, the de facto response for that sauna detox group is, um, you know, everyone chooses clear light and everyone posts pictures of their little tri-field meter. Um, and so I don't know how to answer this in the right, in a polite way. Clear light is a great sauna. So this is in no way, shape or form a dig at them. However, people that post pictures of a tri-field meter in a sauna on a single setting that have no earthly idea what in the hell they're doing is extremely deceptive. And they're very naive and people will defer to, you know, oh, our group members, you know, test all this stuff. But this is like the blind leading the blind. This is truly like sheeple leading sheeple. It's ridiculous. These people don't even know if the meter is on the right setting. You see pictures of people with a tri-field meter on the RF setting in the sauna touting about how low the EMF levels are. And they're in a clear light. And I like clear light saunas. But you have to understand exactly what I'm saying. What they are doing is incredibly nuts. There is no RF. There is no RF radiation from a carbon or a ceramic infrared heating element. It doesn't even create that type of EMF. Like, you would have to be out of your mind to, or I, I shouldn't say that. So new people come into this group and they see this stuff and they're like, oh, it's low EMF. And then they tell all their friends and they're like, oh, it's low EMF. But then people follow this same process for like the Costco sauna or the, the Amazon saunas. Like you can see on my blog, cleverleverage.com, the worst sauna that I ever purchased. Go watch the video. If those people use the same testing method, even though a clear light sauna is good, on a different brand of sauna that's bad, they're gonna tell you that that sauna is good. Do you see the trouble with that? Do you follow like how bad that is? <laughs> it has nothing to do with clear light saunas. It's just the approach and the actual tactic and the, the measuring. It is way off. It should be abandoned. Um, I don't participate in any of that stuff anymore. I don't like it. I don't want to be associated with it, um, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, uh, I can't comment. Uh, I can't comment on why so-and-so doctor chooses them, but um, you know, I think the rest of it will be helpful for you. If not, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in tomorrow's video, and I will see you tomorrow.